So you may have seen the title already, and yes, it is true. People like to really underestimate the power of air gun pellets and air guns in general. And this video might be a reality check or a surprise to a lot of you because last year, as of August 2019, Idaho Fish and Wildlife reported that a full-size mule deer was taken down by a small caliber pellet and they arrived on the scene and ended up finding the animal already gone and when they d dissected the animal to figure out exactly what happened it was in full health condition nothing wrong with it prior to being shot and come to find out the pellet actually double punctured the, the animal in the lungs so it went through both lungs the pellet was recovered in the lung on the opposite side it was shot at so I'll leave the link to the article down below guys but this again is amazing and sad in a way for animal cruelty but just to show you the true power and underestimation of these little pellets and air guns in general it took down a mule deer guys so uh, it is what it is, and as far as I know, they've yet to find out who did it, but this video is based on that, and I wanted to share that with you before I got into the video and doing some experiments for education and entertainment purposes only. I would never do anything illegal, and I just wanted to share that with you guys and replicate this test as best as possible, so let's do it. So doing a prior experiments before this video, I found out that the pellet itself was a 177 because I actually had some pointed on hand, which are the Gamo Master Point 7.56 grain, and shot it in a water bucket to capture it to see if I could re replicate the actual pellet that was caught in the mule deer itself. Um, and I can tell you guys right off the bat that the gun that I have is not as powerful as the one that was used whoever did it uh, also the pellet they used was copper and the only copper pellets that I know of and that are the most proper I guess would be the H&N Spit and Kugel copper which are the same exact weight as these pellets guys 7.56 so the rifle I'll be using is the Gamo Hunter Sport and it's rated at a thousand feet per second with lead but it's actually shooting these at 860 feet per second at the muzzle. So I am not going to be shooting at the muzzle because, you know, obviously the deer wasn't shot at the muzzle. But I am going to be shooting at a farther distance, like 20 yards. And I have in the past legally harvested deer at that distance with bigger caliber legal firearms. So... Let's get into it guys and I'll show you my target. Okay, so to start off, you can see the chronograph here right above the target, right in front of the target. I have four layers of denim. Two sticks here to replicate rib. So obviously the pellet that they shot did not hit any bones because of the way it was deformed. There was hardly any deformity, it was just impact. And I also have one pound of lard and then a one pound of bologna and just doing this test just to see if the 177 caliber pellet that I'm using which is the 7.56 grain Gamo Master Point will penetrate all of that Hey guys, second camera's on. Safety glasses are on, chronograph is on. Let's do it. Pellet pen, 7.56 grain gamo. Gamo pointed about 20 yards. <clears throat> Woo! 
Woo! Hear that pop? 700 feet per second. There it is. Right there. There it is, guys. Holy cow. It went right through that. Look at that. There it is. Gosh, you see how far that went in, guys? Holy cow. Right between the simulated ribs. Right between the simulated ribs. And it went out the back of this one pound of lard. No scope on the gun. I really didn't have time to set it in to get it zeroed or nothing today. God. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. That was crazy, as you could see here. I mean, went through almost one pound. I only had two slices of bologna left, and it penetrated second to the last. And I almost went through the last slice of bologna. So, guys, I cannot believe that. That is crazy within itself. That not only did the pellet go through four layers of denim, went through one pound of lard, and then went through almost one pound of bologna at 20 yards, guys. That is insane. And again, with the chronograph, 20 yards going 700 feet per second. And this gun shoots those pellets at 860 at the muzzle. So... With that said, I'll put up the foot-pounds of energy uh, at 700 feet per second with the 7.5 6 grain pellet. But again, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And this, again, is for entertainment and educational purposes only to show just how powerful these small air guns and the pellets themselves are. Small caliber. That is insane. So again, guys, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I truly appreciate it. Thanks again.